Hi there, I'm Jay Vogg from the Indian Hill Television News Network Center. It's Friday, October 20th, 2017, in World News. Hurricane Maria destroyed homes and knocked out power in Puerto Rico, leaving at least nine people dead in its wake across the Caribbean. Hurricane Maria blew into Puerto Rico in the morning in the southeast coastal town of Yabucoa. It was a Category 4 storm with winds of 155 miles per hour. As Maria closed in, Trump offered his support via Twitter, saying, Puerto Rico being hit hard by new monster hurricane. Be careful. Our hearts are with you. We'll be there to help. Now in sports. Dozens more NFL players took a knee in protest on Sunday. President Donald Trump made comments in a speech and on Twitter against football players who protest during the national anthem. Some National Football League NFL players have been kneeling or sitting during the national anthem. Some people disagree with the protest, but some people support the protest. That protest movement grew Sunday following Trump's weekend comments. Check out this clip. Welcome back to State of the Union. Uh, we have just gotten the first reaction to President Trump's uh, criticisms of NFL players who protest the national anthem. Let's bring up the video. You're looking at uh, this video from just moments ago. A number of players uh, from the Baltimore Ravens and the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, playing uh, at Wembley Stadium in London, uh, taking the knee as uh, this first NFL game uh, begins this Sunday. Uh, more players than normally uh, would be taking a knee uh, are doing so um, in an apparent direct response and reaction to President Trump's criticism uh, and uh, call for a boycott of the NFL. Uh, at least a suggestion of that. Let's get a reaction directly uh, from the U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen Mnuchin. Uh, Secretary Mnuchin. It looks like there is some opposition to the comments the president made. Now in local news. Major quake hits Mexico, killing 225 people as buildings collapse. A magnitude 7.1 earthquake rocked central Mexico on Tuesday, killing 225 people. Buildings collapsed in plums of dust and thousands fled into the streets in panic. Reform efforts are being made to fix the earthquake in Mexico. That's all for now at the News Center. I'm Jay Vogg reporting for IHTN News. Have a great day, everyone.